Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm a bit late, um, because I actually get the Tri Beauty box sent to my boyfriend's house, and so he had to bring it over to me. I'm honestly, I'm pretty surprised they're still shipping them, but we're going to be unboxing the April Tri Beauty box, and I'm going to be doing a review of all the products I got back in the February box. Ooh, it's windy outside. So let's go ahead and jump in. If you missed my last video, which was back in February, where I reviewed the December box and then unboxed the February box, I'll throw that up in the cards just so you get a little bit of an idea of what we're going into because first I'm going to review each product that I tried in the February box. Yes. One thing about the February box that I loved is that it came with this really cute bag and I do use the bag. I've been using it to just hold products that I'm currently like reviewing. It's helped me like just keep organized here on my vanity so I actually really like the bag and I was kind of I mean, I can't be too picky. The new Tri Beauty box, the April one, just came in a bubble mailer, an adorable bubble mailer. But I kind of thought it was going to be like an Ipsy thing where we get a bag every month or every other month, but you don't get another bag. So I'm just going to kind of use the same bag for months moving forward because it's actually really nice and easy to have a bag that says Tri Beauty where I can keep the products here so I can remember to test them and then like keep them for this next video. I'm just gonna go based off of the card. So the first product was the Wondrous Fling eyeshadow palette and this apparently retails for $25. I used this palette quite a bit back when I was like still going to the office. <laughs> you remember when that was a thing? Uh, this is a beautiful palette. It's very soft. It's very... I think that's the best way to say it. It's soft, it's neutral, it's perfect for like everyday wear if you're not going to go for like a bright purple look. I've been experimenting more since we are in quarantine right now <laughs> and I've got that kind of freedom to do so but like back when I was going out and in, into the office every day this was a perfect palette. It is, I mean at first I was a bit put off by the fact that it's mostly shimmers. This is the only matte shade in the palette but they blend out so nicely and it just looks so soft and pretty and neutral. It was perfect for like work or school or anything where you kind of have to look... you want to have makeup on but you don't want it to be like this, right? <laughs> so I actually really liked this palette. I think 25 is a bit too much honestly for how small this is but I really enjoyed this palette and I'm going to keep it. And I do like the mirror. It is a nice size mirror up here and the packaging is just so cute. Next we have a product that I was kind of like meh on the fence about but I found a way to use it that I kind of like it so we'll see. This is the Glow Stick by Iconic Beauty LA retails for $15. I think it's a bit much but you do get a lot of product in here. Um, the only way that I tried this that I liked it was on like a no makeup completely bare face just using this to add a little bit of glow like if I wasn't going to literally wear anything. That being said, do I use something like this? Would I use it that often? Probably not, but I did find a way that I liked it. For the most part, whenever I'm not wearing makeup, I just do my skincare and that gives me a decent amount of a glow, but I, I can see how this can be useful, especially um, for someone who like really doesn't wear full face of makeup every day. This doesn't work well on top of anything, like not on top of uh, foundations, concealers, powders, nothing. You got to do this on like a bare face. Um, so I never would have picked this out for myself, but now that I have it and I found a way that I can kind of use it, I'm going to keep it. But I'm still like mm, on the fence about this. The next product were actually two brushes that came and I was very like happily surprised by these brushes. These are both from Luxie Beauty and this is the number 111 and number 237 eye brushes. So they're a bit stained right now because I did use them when I created this eye look today. But this is what they look like up close. We've got kind of like a dense shading kind of brush and then a nice fluffy crease brush. It was actually pretty surprising to finally have like a fluffy crease brush that fit my eye. Like I, I, I've been so used to using these big fluffy brushes where for everyone else who has bigger eyes or not hooded eyes, you can do the wind, wind wiper kind of thing, you know? I could never do that with any other brush until this one. I actually have the space to do this. It blended out the colors very nicely. I really liked it and I'm glad that I have it. The only downside is I used my blood sugar palette for this look today and I know that those colors stain so I hope this isn't like completely stained. I used a color switch but I'll have to clean this up and like get back to see whether or not that actually stained. The other brush, this one is, what number are you? 
the 111. This one was a, a bit unique. It's smaller than I'm used to for building up on the outer V, but I did notice that normally when I go for these kind of darker looks and I build something out on my outer V, I get a lot of fallout. When I used this, it was so detailed, so precise, and I got next to no fallout with shades that I know I get a lot of fallout from in the Blood Sugar palette. So pleasantly surprised. Like, I, I like the quality of both of these. They seem to be the perfect size for me, the perfect size for my eyes, and whoa, I'm just really glad that I actually got to try these out. They're $24. I don't know if $24 is for the two of them or $24 is like each. $24 each is mmm. But $24 for the two of these, I would say is 100% worth it. Next, we have a skincare product that I really wasn't a huge fan of. This is from Earth Harbor and this is the Fido Resurfacing Night Serum and this retails for $54. I, w I went back and I watched my video where I unboxed this and yeah, I mentioned that there was a very strong scent. This is a very strong scent and I tried using this at night. I noticed it did break me out and I couldn't tell if it was breaking me out because it's like a retinol kind of product where you're supposed to like purge and then get a better skin tone out of it, but it, it just seemed irritating. It was very strongly scented, it felt kind of weird on my face, and it didn't really fit in or mesh well with the other products in my skincare routine, so I wasn't a huge fan of this. I think 54 is way too much for this, um, and I'm not going to be using it anymore. So that was kind of a dud for me. Next we have the lip gloss that I'm wearing today. I do think it's a bit too red for the eye look that I have on, but I really did like this gloss, surprisingly. This is from The Balm, retails for $15, and this is just the Read My Lips gloss in the shade Zap, Zapped, Zapped. <laughs> and it's very, it's a very pinky toned gloss. I've tried this on top of liquid lipsticks and other lipsticks. It doesn't work well on top of it, but it's pigmented enough that if you use it on its own, it's super comfortable. It doesn't feel like a gloss. It feels more like a chapstick and it looks really pretty. So I think this is like perfect for, I want to wear it in the winter. I think this is perfect for like summer where you want a little shiny kind of gloss thing, but you don't want your lips like really drying out. I think 15 is a bit much, but you do get a lot of product in here and I like it. I just think that for this particular look, it's a little too pinky slash ready, but it's, it's a really nice gloss. It's comfortable good. They did mention the makeup bag on here. I already talked about that, the holographic bag. The last product, the Lash Serum, which was $29.99, I didn't use it. <laughs> I don't have any issues with hair. If anything, my hair grows too much. I've got plenty of eyelashes. I've never really struggled in that department, so I actually ended up giving that to my grandmother, who used it twice and then didn't use it anymore. So we've got two kind of duds in here, mainly the skincare and then that Lash Serum that just weren't for me. Why am I hearing so many people outside? We are under quarantine. So that is everything from our February box. Let's jump in and start reviewing our new April box. And it looks like the theme for this box was baby doll. So the first product is the palette. So this is the Rose Period palette by Suva Beauty. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Suva Beauty before. So I'm excited to try this out. Look how pretty that packaging is. This is, and then you've got a very, modern renaissance-y palette here, which I'm actually grateful for. It is a bit similar to the palette we got in the December box, but it, I can't say anything about it until I really try it. Personally, I'm pretty glad to get a palette like this because I did have to um, declutter my modern renaissance palette because it did turn. I had it for a couple of years. That formula did not last long and I did see differences in it, so I did declutter it. So this being so similar to Modern Renaissance before might have been a downside. Now it's kind of a pro. But I'm going to try these shades out. It looks like it's all mattes with four shimmers. So we'll see how that looks out. It's a nice big palette. I like the packaging. It feels nice and sturdy. So we'll see. And the card says this retails for $40. Oof, that's kind of a bit. The Rose Period palette is directly inspired by Pablo Picasso's Rose Period, a time in which Picasso heavily used uplifting pink and orange hues in his paintings. The palette allows for the softest and most subtle looks to incredible sultry and smoky eye makeups. Hmm. Next, we have a highlighter that looks like a collab. So this is the Annette 69 Times Beauty Creations highlighter. So let's see. The packaging is kind of big, a little bulky, but cute. And this is the shade. It looks a little dark. Let's... 
hmm, I'm not sure. We'll have to try that out and see if it works with my skin tone, but I think if I used a light hand, it'll work. The card says, the perfect highlighter for any shade, buildable, blinding, and golden. Get over the inner... <laughs> Get over the inter dull blues and get ready to shine all spring and summer. Huh? We'll see. We'll see. I gotta try it out. Um, I do think it is a bit bulky, but I kind of like how cute the packaging looks. Like it's all nice and pink. It's got a nice big mirror. So we'll see. And I think this retails. So it says this retails for fifteen ninety nine. Okay, so two products I'm actually pretty excited about trying out. Let's see. The next one. Oh, so this is kind of interesting. I have no idea. Really, I've never heard of this. This is the Cognac Sponge Facial Sponges by Grace and Stella. So let's read this. These retail for $15. The Cognac Facial Cleansing Sponge acts as a gentle exfoliator, rubbing off dead skin cells in the most delicate manner, while its natural fibers effectively and simultaneously cling dirt and makeup away from your skin. Wipes off stubborn traces of makeup on your face treats clogged pores and acne resulting in a smoother and clearer complexion and acts as a gentle cleanser and exfoliator to make skin look more radiant hmm. so is this like a makeup remover that would be kind of interesting oh so it looks like there's two of them oh this feels hard <laughs> so there's two of them in here and they're both really oof dense so ah, there's a card Oh, that's just a thank you card. Okay. So the directions say you have to soak the sponge under warm water until it expands and gets soft, so like a beauty blender. Uh, gently cleanse your face using the sponge. Can be used with cleanser. Uh, rinse sponge and let dry after every use. We recommend removing any makeup prior to use. Okay, so this isn't a makeup remover. I kind of hoped it would be. So it's more of just like a an extra step in washing your face. Okay. I would have been more excited if you could use this as a makeup remover. But you know what? I'll try it out. And see how it works and I wonder if there's a difference I don't see any differences between the black and the white sponge I'm assuming they're just kind of they come in a pack of two but huh. all right next we have a, a lip plumper it looks like this is the rose quartz lip plump by skin chemists and retails for $29.99 that's a bit much Let's read about it. <laughs> the Rose Quartz Lip Plump can give you a fuller pout without the pain and commitment offered by fillers. The lip plump is designed to hydrate the lips whilst actively boosting them for a fuller pout, leaving them soft and lightly glossy. With key ingredient Volulip, derived from the Kiss Me Quick plant, is that a real plant? This lip plump aims to stimulate the production of hyaluronic acid, producing an active plumping effect. Circulation of blood to the surface of the lip is further enhanced by peppermint oil, producing a fuller pout. That sounds a bit intense. Now, I will say I don't feel like I need a lip... Oh, this looks kind of intense. I don't, I don't feel like I need a lip plumper. I've always felt that like my lips were a decent size <laughs> as they were. No complaints from me. Oh, that smells like peppermint. Ooh. Okay, well, I'll give it a shot. I don't know, honestly, like, for review purposes, I don't know how much of a review I can give since I already feel like my lips are a decent size. But you know what? What the heck? I'll give it a shot. And last but not least, we actually got two lip liners. So these are the liner or definer liners by Mirabella Beauty, and they're 18 each. Ooh, that's a bit pricey. It says, smooth pencils that outline lips or work as an all-over lip color. So this is interesting. I don't really use lip liners that much and i don't purchase them that often so i like that they gave you two too that's interesting so i'm assuming they're two different colors uh yeah so we've got like this berry shade and a pink let me Ooh. oh okay cute so so here are the two shades that i got a very light rose and then a nice kind of mauvey berry shade Oh, they're cute. I like how big they are. They're a nice big pencil. They're very sharp. I'm assuming this is just a regular pencil you can use all the way down. So that is excellent. It looks sharp in a bowl. And I'm excited. So these are the shades. I got the shade Smart and the shade Tease. <laughs> I kind of like those names. So that's everything I got in this April box. I'm Honestly, I'm excited about everything except for maybe the lip plumper. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the lip plumper, but I do think that I'm more excited about the products in this box than the February box. So for me, I do think this box 
is a bit better as of now. I do have to still test out all the products, so hopefully in another two months when the next box comes, I can give you my full review of these products, and then we'll unbox that next one. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.